Are the biblical names in the Quran based upon pagan Arabian Arabic sources? I must answer this question on three levels, historical, ideological, and linguistic. Historically, when one looks up the names of Muhammad's companions and the names of the other pre-Islamic Arabs, one will not find a single biblical name among the pagan Arabs. Names such as Ibrahim, Ismail, Ya'qub, Musa, Isa, Daud, Suleiman, etc. are missing, which should not be surprising since the pagan Arabs had absolutely no inkling whatsoever that they were in any way associated with Abraham until Muhammad's alleged Quranic revelations. If Abraham and Ishmael were truly the ancestral fathers of the Arabs, then it beggars belief and logic that they forgot them so completely, especially when one takes into account the fact that Muhammad's name is used by over 80% of all the males of his followers even after 1400 years. Moreover, if Abraham and Ishmael were truly the ancestral fathers of the Arabs, it would make the Arabs descendants of the Hebrews, Arabic the daughter of the Hebrew language, and Mecca and the Kaaba holy, shrines for the Jews also. When the above subjects are looked at dispassionately and intelligently, the conclusions arrived at above change the whole dynamic of Muhammadan claims to their language, their shrines, and their mythical history. Ideologically, the Quran repeatedly asserts that both Muhammad and the pagan Arabs had no knowledge of previous revelations. Al-A'raf 7.157 Those who follow the apostle, the unlettered prophet, Al-Rasul, Al-Nabi, Al-Ummi, Al-Shura 42.52 And thus have we by our command sent inspiration to thee. Thou knowest not before what was revelation and what was faith. Ma kunta tadri mal kitabu wal al-imanu. Yet once more does the Quran assert that the pagan Arabs and Muhammad were ignorant of previous revelations prior to itself. Surah Al-Jum'ah 62.2 He who sent among the unlettered people a messenger from them, huwa alladhi ba'atha fil ummiyyina rasoolan minhum, the claims by Muhammad and his later followers that the pagan Arabs had any knowledge of Abraham and Ishmael as their ancestors are pure fabrications and blatant lies, especially since they contradict the Quran itself. Linguistically, our listeners should be aware that the Arabic names of the biblical characters are taken from the Syriac Arabic of the Christians who resided in the Byzantine Empire and the Arabian Peninsula. At its broadest definition, Syriac is often used to refer to all Eastern Aramaic languages spoken by various Christian groups. At its most specific, it refers to the classical language of Edessa, which became the liturgical language of Syriac Christianity. In summation, the falsifications of history and theology were needed by both Muhammad and his later followers to give themselves a worthy ancestry in line of the Hebrew prophets, and hence be able to claim the receiving of divine revelations also. Being the best pirates of the desert, it was not enough for Muhammad and his followers to plunder the wealth of the people of the book, but they graduated to become also pirates and plunderers of their beliefs to such a depraved extent that they started claiming the Hebrew prophets and kings as their own. The followers of Muhammad continue unrestrained to create for themselves a history, a lineage, and a cult belief system that are based entirely on the plundering, plagiarizing, pirating, and or perverting of the histories, traditions, beliefs, fetishes, and scriptures of other peoples.